What is up guys? How is it going? Travis here again back with another video and uh, Man, I just couldn't be more excited to be fishing right now It's like September 23rd. It's about 3 34 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 70 degrees and uh, I just the conditions are just absolutely perfect overcast skies um, I actually fished this lake last night with my grandpa and I and it was the best perch fishing I've ever done. Caught a 13, two 12s and 11. I'm gonna put the picture right here. Uh, it was just incredible. Unfortunately tonight it's just me, but I decided to take the camera out and uh, do some filming and see if we can't get into the fish like we did yesterday. So uh, stay tuned guys, hope you enjoy and yeah, let's get after it. All right, guys, fish number one. I've only been down there about 30 seconds. Oh, he took my minnow. So I guess I, man, that's actually a keeper size fish. Well, I'm gonna let him go. It's about a keeper. So I guess I should have told you the setup. So I'm just fishing this jig here, just a couple sinkers, cause we're in about 17 to 20 feet of water just to get it down there. And I've got a dirty bucket full of minnows. Just what was left over from last night. And I'm just hooking them through the eyes. I just don't seem to work as well. Just Man, my reel is, when I went brook trout fishing yesterday, I uh, accidentally got it some dirt in it and I'm paying the price for it today. Good God. Yeah, I've only been here about a minute. Oh, there's a fish. Here we go. This is the keeper. I'm going to have to keep this guy. Shoot. I was in such a hurry to go get out here that I forgot to bring a bucket and I don't have a a fish or a stringer. So yeah, that's am I on already? Got him on already. Oh, this is a bigger fish. Felt like it at first. He felt like a bigger fish at first. I'm gonna be a little pickier just cause I don't wanna have like a ton of fish to clean. And we did just catch a bunch of really, really big ones last night. There we go. Oh yeah. No! That was going in the bucket for sure. Man, this is insane. I've never caught perch like this in my entire life where it's just consistent, you know, one after the other after the other. And they're all, you know, pretty good size. <laughs> to catch a 13, two 12s and 11 within an hour of each other, that is just ridiculous. At least it is here in Northern Michigan. Maybe you live in an area where that's more common, but not here, at least not for me. Oh, that was a good fish. Dang it. At least he didn't take the mini. Just another ho-hum 9-10 incher. No big deal. No big deal. This is crazy. I'm only getting one fish per minnow. I need to get my other rig set up, but I'm, I can't set this down. I need to get it in the water though. As soon as you drop it, boom. Boom. 
Where's my minnow? Open your dang mouth, buddy. Sometimes you can... Nope. Yeah. I think this is a keeper. I think this is a keeper. I don't have a freaking net. Oh, buddy. Oh, get in there. Oh, yes! This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what I'm talking about right here. Look at this fish. Look at this perch. Are you kidding me? Look at how freaking big that is. Holy crap. It's all day long out here, baby. Yes! It's all day. This is a 12 inch perch, guys. It's freaking huge. Whew. I'm jacked. <laughs> I thought that was a walleye for a second. This is insane. All right, he's going in the minnow bucket. Whew. Well, guys, there's a first time for everything. I've been fishing for 20 years or longer, and I've never been stopped by the DNR until right now. <laughs> uh, just too good to be true. Two good nights in a row, perfect weather, perfect, you know, fish are biting. And uh, these guys roll up to just kill the, the fun. So I don't have a life jacket and this boat is so old and it's such a small little dinky boat that I haven't even bothered registering it in several years because I just, I've never been stopped and I, half the time I use this boat, I don't even put a motor on it. So it's just, you know, something I haven't done in several years and yep, fun, 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 man. And they've had my information for at least 10, 15 minutes. So this is not, not going to be good. Oh God, this sucks. This sucks. I'll give you guys an update when this is all resolved. Well, guys, uh, unfortunately, the DNR did ticket me for Noah life jacket. Not really surprised, but the worst thing about that is, is they wouldn't uh, let me go without the life jacket, obviously. And I don't have a way to really get a life jacket to me in a timely manner. So I have to come off the lake at like 5.30, which honestly makes me way more mad than the life jacket ticket itself. It's the fact that I have to stop fishing for the night. It just, because like I said if a million times already, we just don't get these very warm, nice days here in Northern Michigan this time of the year. So the fact that I have to come off the lake, it just kills me. But, uh, Oh well, I guess, so. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I don't know if it was the most exciting. It was for me, I don't know if it was for you guys, but it's just something different. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching. And if you would, please hit the like and subscribe button. That would help me out a ton. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, thanks again, guys, and until uh, next time, tight lines. All right.